Okay, so I have never covered The Walking Dead. I have been wanting to read the series. I think now I will go pick up the trade paperbacks now that it's over. I only picked these up because of what happened. So <laughs> this is a reprint of 192, and then this is the final issue. So my comic shop actually had some left. I guess they're selling out. They're already going for like 15 bucks on eBay, I guess. They actually had three left. I only picked up one, and I'm not, you know, out to do something like that. I'll actually probably give this away, I think, on a live stream. I think that's what I'm going to do with this book, actually. Um, because I'm not, I don't want to keep it, and I don't really want to sell it for profit. Too much of a, a hassle to sell something to make ten dollars. Um, so this is issue one ninety two. This is a reprint. Uh, this is the issue where Rick Grimes dies. I think that's spoilers are out on that one. So I mean, it's right on the cover. I, I bought this one because I wanted to see how this led up to this. So I was like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll pick them up. Tax right off. So I'll pick them both up just so I can see what happened and. So here's the story, if you don't know, because I don't see a lot of people talking about it. Uh, I mentioned it in a video on my other channel the other day, but uh, The Walking Dead 193 was announced like out of the blue last week, I think it was. Like, The Walking Dead is ending abruptly. Here's the cool thing, though. Like, they gave solicits for months ahead, like a couple of months. Like, you know, you, you'll see solicits for every big comic book they'll say you know you'll get a solicit for the issue that's going to happen in november now I, I don't know how far ahead they go but as just an example i'll say oh this is what will happen in this issue we already know the climactic decision or something and they were they were still getting those and then out of the blue well past cutoff orders it's over so you know, comic shops, I guess, are mad because, you know, they can't order more of these because of that. So um, the stock that's out there is out there. There was no prepping. And uh, I actually think that's pretty cool. It was just out of the blue and it made like kind of some hype for it. Um, I, I don't know the history of these books, so I, I don't really want to judge the story too much. But there was some stuff in here I really liked. Uh, so this kid killed Rick Grimes or whatever and Carl's like you know I uh, I like that you're going to be in jail forever but it's funny I was reading this editorial and he's like uh, you know I know Rick's dead it wasn't because of the show but you know you gotta just uh, I, I think that we've built up some trust like here and despite the fact that we don't have Rick Grimes with us anymore I promise you my next issue and beyond will very much continue to be like The Walking Dead after 190, after 192 issues. I hope I've earned a little trust. <laughs> and, then, and then, boom, it's over. So, it's a very thick issue. Kind of like a, you know, it was like a, almost a comic skate issue. Kind of a hardbound book. Pretty, pretty thick. Pretty thick. And it's pretty much a time jump. So, Carl was a little kid in the last issue. It opens up with this uh, this walker walking around. And you see Michonne's sword there. It's Carl as an, uh, as an adult. Takes it out. He's got a family. Uh, they have a huge safe zone now. And pretty much like things are civil, like civilized. Uh, they still do runs outside of the save zone I guess and Carl does a lot of those but for the most part like the way they have things set up there's no like people in the society don't even know like some of them don't even know like what walkers look like and everyone kind of hero worships Rick Grimes uh, the basic plot of this book is Carl kills Herschel Greens who's the daughter of I think Maggie or the son of Maggie and Glenn and he has an attraction where he brings like uh, walkers into towns like a circus show so that people that have never seen walkers can get the chance and one of them escapes that's the one that Carl killed at the beginning and Carl then gets told, hey, you have to replace it. And 
instead of doing that, he goes and kills all of them. Uh, Michonne is the judge at the high court, and she pardons him. And then there's like a speech, and that actually ends with him telling his daughter, Carlton, his daughter Andrea, a story about uh, Rick, and it ends. I find this funny because, from what I understand, Robert Kirkman had always talked about how he was going to make the ending, like, you know, bad. And the dead were always going to win. Everyone was going to die. And he actually talks about that. There's, there's a very long, see this here, very long essay that he wrote to uh, just kind of say goodbye. And he gives his reasoning for what he did. And I think that it's very, a very good reasoning. He, he pretty much talks about how, um, you know, he at one point wanted the series to go to 300. And he was just getting to a point where he already knew how it was going to end. But it was like, he just, you know, I can tell this, I can tell these new stories and pat it, but it just wouldn't be very good. And I didn't want to tell anybody how it was going to end, you know, because I wanted it to be a surprise. He's like, I wanted the, uh, the reader to be like surprised and shocked and stuff. And he thought it would make for a better story. And he didn't want to, he didn't want to pat it out. He wanted it to all be good and just end it on a high note. I thought that was very respectable. I, I like that. I like the idea of this just like ceasing, like out of the blue, almost so much like that. The I, I wish they hadn't even had leaked that it was coming to an end. But I guess because you know comic shops get this, so a comic shop will get this a week early, and undoubtedly <laughs> they read them. And sure enough, someone read it and probably leaked. Well, it's over, and it was out. I think this would have been even cooler if everyone would just shut their mouth and just let it be a shocking ending. But from what I understand, comic shops are mad because they, uh, you know, they couldn't order more in time for it to come out. So um, I, I really liked how this ended. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, he talked about an alternate ending where uh, it was going to end in Alexandria, where Rick was like talking about how you know society needs to be rebuilt, and then it was gonna pan out to like a broken down statue of him with vines everywhere, showing that the dead had won. And he's it's like I don't want to end it on a terribly sad ending. And uh, he ends it with society being rebuilt. There's like showing like train tracks uniting the eastern and western fronts and stuff, and bringing the world back together. So society is rebuilding. And the dead is are slowly being picked away as society expands back out. So, yeah, it's uh, it, it was a good ending. Now I, I can't. I can only say that. So you know, I didn't read the previous a hundred and hundred and ninety one issues. All I've watched is most of the show. I stopped watching it actually. I got tired of it um, because I got to be honest. I liked the show better when they were living out the land and hiding in barns. It got a little bit too much, uh, like, you know, drama and politics. I liked it when they were, like, living and forging and stuff. I thought that was really cool. Uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to get back into the show, but I, I do think that I'll start picking up the trade paperbacks and reading them for this. This actually uh, kind of piqued my interest to see where the, where the comic books went. But all in all, uh, I, I thought this was a pretty good ending. I don't know how satisfied I would be if I had been reading it or not. Uh, if you have, I really want to hear what you have to say. What did you think about the way this ended? Were you satisfied? Were you disappointed? What did you like? What you didn't like? Those are uh, what I would really like to, to hear. I just wanted to check these out because of the hype. Because like I said, this was uh, this is very... Very subtle. I don't think anyone's ever done something like this where they just end the series unplanned. Because like I said, they sent solicits out for months. No one knew this was happening. As far as I know, shops put in orders for comics that weren't going to come. So I got to say, like, kudos to Image and the decision makers who said, yeah, let's do this. Because they actually lost money doing this. Let's be real. Because... They would have ordered a crap ton of these had they known it was going to end. So, you know, I got to say, this was uh, this was a smart move. I, I liked it. And it's going to increase the value of this book for a lot of people, too. So, subscribe. 
Leave a comment, throw a like up, and I'll see you guys later.